Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to connect MySQL database with Beekeeper Studio. So let's open the Beekeeper Studio and this is currently loading. So let's close that and here you can see new connection is there. If this available, that's fine. If not, then you can click on this new connection. Then after here, this is your drop down box. You can select the database, any database you can select. So let's select here MySQL. So when you select here MySQL, here connection type MySQL and uh, here this connection mode and host is localhost port is 3306. You need to give the user and their password. So if I go on this MySQL workbench. So MySQL already is my system and uh, there you can easily analyze. Here you can see MySQL and root is the user, localhost, this is 3306 is the port. So let's click there and now going to connect with the MySQL. So here you can see when I connect this uh, list of database that's available, secular sys world. Now thereafter here you need to give the username root and give the password. Thereafter default database if you want then you can give this is optional if you don't want then leave it. So giving the database name Sakila and after giving this all info let's click on this test connection. So connection looks good after that click on this connect button. So now here my SQL that successfully connected with the Beekeeper Studio. Here you can see local host and secular database. So that's all tables, synonyms and many more that's come there. So if I click on this city, then you can see here city data that's all displaying there. And uh, if I click on this country, then country database that you can get here. After that, you can view data via structure. And here you can export the files, import the files, copy name. You can get here, create uh, or house the table that's created. You can get here, create table, customer, this all. And you can also copy this and you can create the tables anywhere else. After that, there are so many operations you can do here. Drop, truncate and duplicate. You can make that with the help of this beekeeper. So this is the way we can do here connection with my SQL database with Beekeeper Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.